what do I think about the iPhone coming from Android? Well, that's pretty simple. The iPhone, honestly, is great. Um, I prefer the Android ecosystem to iOS. I'm not going to lie. I've only, only been using this phone for two or three days, and I've already kind of gotten bored. But the thing about this iPhone that makes it just so much nicer to have is I have a MacBook and an iPad, and being able to use all three of those devices together in continuity is beautiful. It's something that I don't know if I'm willing to give up. I think that having the extra features on Android is cool, but I don't even have to use this iPhone at all, and I can still get all the benefits of having the iPhone. I can now text and call people from my iPad, which is my number one device. I put in hours a day on the iPad. Even when I had Android, I hardly used my phone. I used my iPad. So being able to use my iPad to receive calls from people outside of the iOS ecosystem, as well as text people from outside of the iOS ecosystem without having to use GroupMe or Google Hangouts or things like that is so perfect. Also having the continuity to where if I'm looking at something on Google Chrome on one device, I can just pick up the other device and just have it there. It's great. The Force Touch features, I don't think a lot of them are gimmicks, even though at first I thought Force Touch was a gimmick. The Force Touch features are awesome. Other than that, the phone just works. Anything that you need to do is always going to be there right at your fingertips, and everything that you need is just right there. There's a lot of gimmicks and things that Android had first that iOS implemented, but a lot of the times on Android, they wouldn't work every single time. It would be kind of, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But every single time with this iPhone, when you pick it up, the screen just comes on every single time. And I know that that's a feature that's been implemented on the Galaxy Note series, the LG series, things like that. But I've owned these phones and I can say that every time it doesn't work. Cause I'll try to show it to my friend like, look, when I pick it up, it comes on and it wouldn't come on or something like that. But every single time I pick this iPhone up, it just comes on. Every time you double tap the home button, Apple Pay just shows up. The phone just works. And I'm, I'm impressed to be honest. I'm not a big fan of iOS, like I said, it's kind of plain, but you can get you a nice simple wallpaper and things like that and the phone will look good and it'll work and to be honest I like it. In terms of battery life on the iPhone 7 that's great too. Today I got up at about 8 9 o'clock in the morning and took it off the charger it was at about 95 percent and it is around 11 o'clock now almost 12 and the phone is at 17 percent so it's basically lasted me all day 14 hours nearly and it's fine. It's not the best battery life I've ever had. It's not blowing me away, but it's getting me through a day. And I think that that is respectable in its own. A lot of people are concerned about the headphone jack as well. Honestly, I have not ran into that problem yet. I've had the phone for about five days and there's never been a situation where I've thought, oh man, this headphone jack being gone is so terrible. Haven't even thought about it. Uh, I use a lot of Bluetooth. And then in terms of having to use a headphone jack, I have two laptops, an iPad, I can figure it out. If this is your only device and you only have one phone and it's the iPhone 7, then maybe that might be a problem for you, but it does include an adapter in the box, so just don't forget your adapter. <laughs> the introduction of Hey Siri on the iPhone 6S was great, and it works great on here too. I love it. I always use OK Google um, on my Android phones and to be able to have something similar to it on the iPhone and just be able to say, hey Siri, what's the weather? Is literally great. They got all of that. <laughs> OK, the temperature today will range between 46 degrees and 60 degrees. Thanks, girl. But it's great. I love it. And it all works. Lastly, I'm sure people are wondering what it is I'm using to protect the iPhone because I know you've seen the screen protector and the case and they're both really sleek and nice looking screen protectors and cases. So I'll tell you what they are really quick. First up, we have the Trianium Protective Slim case. Now, this is just a regular TPU case and it is a clear one, obviously, because I want people to be able to see my rose gold. The buttons on it actually press pretty well. I thought that they were going to be stiff, but they actually have a good little press to them. 
and you get a little bit of shock protection too. I've never dropped it and I don't plan on dropping it, but if I do, hopefully this case can protect it. You can see on the edges, there's actually a little bit of shock protection on here. Now for the screen protector, I have AM film. This is a screen protector by a company I've never really heard of, but I was able to get two for $7.99. And they're just tempered glass screen protectors. They say they're scratch resistant, 9H hardness, and zero bubbles. And it's very clear. It looks great, and there actually is a tiny bubble on the screen, but that's probably user error. I tried my best to make sure it didn't happen, and it happened anyways. Those are all my accessories for the iPhone 7 that I have right now. And honestly, I'm liking the phone, like I said, and if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'm just trying to get more content out. Love you guys. It's Jordan from JTech. Thanks for watching.